At the beginning of June, U.S. senators took a military aircraft to Taiwan to announce its vaccine donation. Washington promised to donate 750,000 vaccine doses. They will be delivered to Taiwan shortly. With regards to actually getting those on airplanes and flying them, and in very short order, we do expect to have those uh, vaccines on their way to Taiwan. You're saying within weeks they will be there. Is that what you're saying? Um, I would hope perhaps even in sooner than that, sir, but I'm not able to give a detailed uh, timeline for exactly when. We do have a few more hoops we have to get through to make sure that we have met all of the regulatory requirements of our Taiwan friends. Are there plans to partner with Taiwan to manufacture and distribute vaccines? Thank you, Chairman. Uh, as you know, President Biden has made it clear that America wants to work together with its friends and partners to become an arsenal of vaccines. Uh, Taiwan does have capacity in this regard, and there are talks underway uh, to see how we can cooperate with Taiwan, amongst many others. The senators stated that the U.S. government should support Taiwan both diplomatically and economically. The Biden administration must use its vote, its voice, and influence to unlock the doors of the WHA and other international organizations to Taiwan. I want to echo my colleague Jonathan Fritz's words about the importance we place on Taiwan's meaningful participation in the UN and its related bodies. The Chinese Communist Party has been using vaccine donations as a way to control Taiwan's diplomatic partners and also spread misinformation. Taiwan's ambassador indicated that she had actually uh, received um, uh, indication of texts coming from the Chinese Communist Party saying that Americans have so much vaccine that we're vaccinating our pets and that we think more of our dogs than we think of the people of Taiwan. This kind of misinformation spreads throughout Taiwan. Of course, underlying this is a, um, a realization that 50% of all the chips in the world are made in Taiwan. And so it only further reemphasizes how important Taiwan is to us. Taiwanese people, as you have pointed out, have advanced industry and an advanced economy that has much to, to offer on a number of fronts. We believe that they have a voice, they have expertise, and they have experience that is valuable to the entire world in combating these global issues. But they also have a lot to bring to the table in areas from civil aviation safety, where they have an enormous experience dealing with a, a very tough geography for their airport, uh, and they can bring that to the, to the table at the Civil Aviation Organization, and in law enforcement and combating international global criminal networks, where we think that they could bring a lot more to bear at Interpol and related agencies. So uh, 24 million people with an advanced economy should have a voice at the table on all of these fronts, and we're committed to trying to work with them to do so.